In the mountains of South India, a unique national park is in grave danger from mining. Already much damage has been caused to a fragile ecosystem. If the devastation is not stopped now, a precious national heritage will be ruined forever. India's Western Ghats have been recognized as one of the 18 most important regions of biodiversity in the world. And within the Western Ghats, the natural grassland and rainforest ecosystem around the Kudremukh peak in Karnataka is acknowledged as a treasure house of biological riches. The lush forests contain an astonishing variety of plant species, many of them of great medicinal value. The forests are also home to some extremely threatened species of animals, like the lion-tailed macaque. The Kudremukh forests support the largest breeding population of this highly endangered species. This region is also important for the tiger, India's severely threatened national animal. Several other species that are found here have been recognized as rare species under the Indian Wildlife Act. Because of its biological importance, Kudremukh was declared a national park in 1987. It is the largest protected area of grassland and wet evergreen forest in South India. Three major rivers have their origins in Kudremukh the Netravati, the Tunga, and the Bhadra. Millions of people in Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh depend upon this water for agriculture and for their daily needs. But sadly, the future of this great water source is in grave danger from an open-cast mining operation of mammoth proportions, the Kudremukh Iron Ore Mining Project. In 1969, a large area of wilderness was leased for the mining. Since then, an entire train of hills has been chopped, hacked, gouged into and stripped bare. Perhaps blinded by their zeal for development, the planners failed to foresee the disastrous ecological consequences of their actions. Even the location of the mines appears to have been thoughtless just above the very source of the river Bhadra. The mined slopes are full of loose soil and prone to erosion. Everything seems fine until the monsoon arrives. Kudremukh is one of the highest rainfall areas in India, receiving up to 7,000 millimeters of rain annually. Year after year since the mining started, this is what happens during the monsoon. Erosion on a scale that is truly shocking. On the right is a clear stream from an undisturbed area of forest. On the left is the Padra River after passing through the mining area. The Padra originates in the forest as a clear stream. After passing through the mining area, its waters are harnessed by the Padra Dam. The designed lifespan of the Padra Reservoir was 180 years. But then, no one anticipated that a mining operation of such proportions would start upstream. Currently, over 100,000 hectares of cropland are irrigated by these waters. The heavy annual siltation will drastically reduce the lifespan of the reservoir and in turn, seriously affect food production in the future. Already, there is a water crisis every summer. The mining causes other problems too. Several times during the last few years, the pipe that carries the iron ore slurry to Mangalore has broken, severely polluting the clear mountain streams. In the year 2000 alone, the pipe broke twice spilling an estimated 4,000 tons of concentrated iron ore.
8 kilometers downstream, many months later, the effects of the pollution are still evident. Santa Pagoda, a village elder, has lived on the banks of the Padra for decades. He has been a witness to its steady decline and desecration. Lab tests have shown that the river sand here now contains 68% iron ore. Mr. Gowda has his own simple way of demonstrating this. A magnet passed through the sand. The agricultural fields too have suffered heavy degradation. Dig into the subsurface and what do you get? Iron ore. Iron bundu gatti agi kalla gogide. Gundi ne illa. Iga na gade na maga hore pakdali bartha kanta do. Yi ganagari ke mad bundu. Ado gundi hore niig bitu. Acha pakka acha pakka. Vala ko hoguanta dari ne khamya gogide. Ab bunda bumi me bitu har dogli karna bharbo. When the overflowing river recedes, this is what it leaves behind. A thick sludge of iron ore. Iron bandhu, sherbito, barthakanta, thariwalagirthakanta, bumi illa khalla goit. Yenu, yekre yi pat palla baru, ayi palla baru ushtu marga illa. Vana pudi yehtu nir bandhu hidi hogutte. Damara ke yari iti hita hogutta akra prakar vai. The pollution and siltation of the Bhadra is a disaster for the farmers living along its banks. It is little wonder that it makes Santa Pagoda angry. Kalmashapura hoga to adal kalla saro. Kala jala prati vondo ur madir takan to do clear madir do purti badra ke share door to ur talamela korta rama. Adalala ban nadi vala ke ban kala bara dal vodo. Ori ka dartha gutwa. Despite the massive destruction caused until now, there is a proposal to open up new areas to mining, three times the size of the existing mining area. This is Gangadikal, one of the hills earmarked for destruction. The mining of this hill will result in the pollution and siltation of the other river that originates here, the Tunga. The mining company also wants to continue iron ore extraction from the already broken areas. Even this proposal is unsound. The iron ore content in Kudremuk is quite low, only 30%. After extraction of this 30%, the remaining 70% of waste mud, known as tailings, has been dumped in a nearby valley since 1979. The 100 meter deep Lakya Valley now contains over 150 million tons of mud. It is full to the brim and can take no more. If mining continues, many more valleys will have to be dammed to dump the waste tailings. The first to go will be the Kachigahole Valley, an important rainwater catchment area. The Lakya Dam is a disaster waiting to happen. In 1994, it developed a serious crack, causing panic downstream. If the dam were to burst, the resulting mudslide would be catastrophic. In the year 2000, the Karnataka government commissioned a study by the Indian Institute of Science on the impact of mining on the flora and fauna of Kudremuk. Their report, released in January 2001, made it clear that further mining in Kudremuk would be a grave mistake. The Kudremuk mines have proved to be an environmental disaster. But fortunately, the mining company's 30-year lease has finally expired. The time to call a halt to the devastation is now. There is a proposal before the government to extend the lease for another 30 years. If this is allowed, it will cause unimaginable harm to the ecosystem and the rivers that originate here. 
Since prospecting and mining began in Kudremuk 30 years ago, huge iron ore deposits have been discovered in other parts of the country. It is now acknowledged that iron ore is a common mineral in India. It is no longer necessary to mine in this ecologically fragile area. Kudremuk was declared a national park to safeguard one of the most important biodiversity hotspots in India. To continue mining within a national park is absolutely irrational. Kudremuk's biological treasures are many, many times more valuable than the iron ore we can extract from it. And at a time when many of India's rivers are drying up, the perennial supply of water provided by the forests of Kudremuk is more than enough reason to protect it for posterity. Iron ore can be mined elsewhere. But once the forests and rivers are destroyed, nothing can ever bring them back. It is time we started looking at ways to repair the damage, not how much more we can extract from these hills. In the larger interests of preserving priceless river systems and the safeguarding of our precious natural heritage, the mining in Kudremuk must stop now.